Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. A big old shout out and welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining the family. You're, you're so welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you that are returning, what is up, squad? So welcome to your readings for November 2019. A big shout out goes out to those Scorpios. Yeah, very happy birthday to the Scorpios. And also a very happy birthday to the November Sagittarians, yes? Can you guys believe that we are almost done with 2019? Like, this is a little bit crazy. We are getting into 2020 soon. That is super exciting. I hope you guys have had a really great year so far, but we're not quite there yet. So. These are your messages for the month of November. Please keep in mind that these readings are general. Yes, these messages are general. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information, including my email address and the readings that I offer, uh, their prices and a description of those readings are found in the description box below. Yes. For those of you that are new to my channel, what I will be doing in this monthly reading is what I call the freestyle or general freestyle reading. Yeah. If you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you start with that one as that is really quite a one size fits all type of reading. We could really get you some really awesome information, uh, very clarity into a look on what's going on, whatever question or situation you are interested in gaining greater clarity on. Yeah. Also, if you are new to the channel, please understand that number one, I am not a fortune teller. Okay. So what I'm doing here, what my goal is to give you guys is to get a look into the energy surrounding you right now and to give you guys a clearer understanding of what those energies are so that you can make a, a decision that is best for yourself moving forward in your life. Yes. Again, please keep in mind that these readings are general and I'm going to, for the most part, I'm going to be talking to the uh, sun sign or star sign. I should say star sign because it's not just your sun sign. This is sun, moon, rising and Venus, but I'm going to be talking to the sign that's in question, mostly looking at it from their point of view. So if you're a cross watcher, keep that in mind. But also if I'm speaking to this and you're uh, speaking to this point from the point of view that you're the, the sign that you're looking at because it's the sign that is in your chart, but it's not resonating as you're the person that should be spoken to here. Maybe you're the person on the other side of the equation, then please take it as it resonates. Yes. Okay. Um, also keep in mind that just because these are monthly readings, like they're dated for the month of November, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for the month of November of 2019. All the readings on my, on my channel are meant to be timeless. Also keep in mind that this is general. All right. We're, so we're talking about anything that spirit wants to bring forward to you or wants to bring to your attention. This is not love career or, or, or sp specific like that in any sort of way. Although career may come up or career may resonate for you or love may come up and that may resonate for you too. Okay. But this is just an over open-ended overall look at the energies in your life. Yeah. I would absolutely love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. I am on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And I do like to go live just about every once in a week to do a, uh, a collective check-in energy check-in for the Insta fam. So if you're not following me there, please, I highly recommend that you do so. Let's connect on social media. I'm also on Facebook, um, uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations. Now here's the thing about it. First of all, all, both of those links are in the description box below, but um, if you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you just email me or at the very least you can message me on Instagram. But even if you do that, I'll just be directing you to email. Uh, Facebook is not the best option to connect with me, to send a message to me or something like that, or even to try and book a reading mainly because it's not always reliable in notification, uh, as to when I get messages on Facebook. Um, and I don't always remember to check it all that frequently. So you run the risk of either completely me, completely missing your message or getting back to you at a really later, t really late time. So if you would like to, please, if you can go ahead and give me a like on Facebook and all that and connect with me there. But if you would like to get a reading from me, or if you would like to contact me in some way, email or at the very least, very least Instagram is your best way of doing that. Yes. Um, so for the readings for this month, I'm keeping with my normal and I'm using the golden universal tarot for our tarot spread and then keeping with the fall atmosphere, the fall feel, 
I'm going to be pulling Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. I love this deck and it's so awesome. And it's been really, really spot on for this month. It was really spot on for last month as well. I'm really super excited for you guys to see these readings because I feel like overall they're really, really great messages, okay? So with that said, let's get to it. Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for November 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get straight into your pre-shuffle energies here. So um, let's start here. You have the Five of Wands, Judgment, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Overall energy being the Three of Cups. I feel like there's a union that's trying to come forward for you. Um, and I, I feel like the universe is kind of... Uh, calling you to awaken to something or to accept something here. Um, but you're conflicted about it. I, I, I feel like what I feel like is happening here, Aries, is the universe is asking you to, to accept something, to move in a certain direction, is awakening you towards something or is calling you towards something and you're feeling it. I feel like you're very consciously aware of it, but yet you're fighting against it because you're conflicted in some way. And I'm not trying to say that you're being stubborn or maybe some of you actually are. <laughs> maybe some of you actually are uh, kind of, because the spirit is kind of saying, yeah, well, some people are being a little bit stubborn about it, but ultimately you probably have a very good reason to be resistant to this, whatever the universe is asking you for or calling you towards. And yet <clears throat> the call is still going out there. You have the page of cups and then you also have the nine of pentacles. Uh, the Page of Cups is some sort of reconciliatory energy that I'm feeling here, for sure, 100%. The Nine of Pentacles, however, is you, is the energies that you are in, the, um, your, the, your, your sense of independence. Also, your sense of abundance here, okay? Um, now, there are two other cards that came out, and they came out face down. There are the Four of Cups with the Chariot. And they came out face down, and as I was shuffling and pulling your pre-shuffle here, when these two cards fell out, I was like, okay, immediately I was like, wow, all right, this is a hidden aspect for the uh, for, uh, for Aries right now. And what I feel like here is this hidden aspect for you is the fact that whatever you're being called towards, whatever is being trying to be handed to you by the universe is actually very much in alignment with where you're trying to go. Maybe you just, I, I heard you just don't see that yet or you don't see it clearly enough to really understand what is being offered to you. But there is some sort of reconciliatory energy here, but you're kind of, it feels like Aries, you're kind of in this very independent energy where it's like you don't even really, really even need or want any sort of reconciliation, any sort of apology, anything like that. You don't want it and you don't need it. And it, for some of you, this is coming from a place of pain but also being stubborn. Um, but for others of you, this is coming from a place of you're just, you're good on your own. You feel very strong and very independent. And it's not like you're really looking, for, oh God, yes. Spirit just said this is a counterpart situation. So it's not even like you're really looking out there for some sort of counterpart. You may not even be looking for confirmation in terms of, you know, a counterpart situation you might be in. Like you're really very much independent, doing this for yourself, you're loving life, you're feeling free and all that, and now all of a sudden so-and-so wants to come around and like, and like apologize? What the fuck do I need that for, says Aries. But at the same time, Aries, this is in alignment with you. And you may really not be aware of it yet. You actually also, you may not be in an energy to really be accepting of that. But the Three of Cups here is a union energy. And I'm getting that this is a celebration of two parts coming together. All right? Please don't shoot the messenger, Aries. <laughs> Please don't shoot the messenger. But we're going to see what else comes out here for you for your month of November 2019, yeah? And you know what, Aries? I'm going to be 100% com completely honest with you. I used to be, I was in this energy too. And it was right, and it was actually the month of October that I finally came out of that. 
and I'm still in the independence mode, but also I'm I'm in an independence mode where it's like, yeah, I'm feeling really good. I'm loving life. I'm I'm lo really really loving this time to myself. But also, if there's if there is a certain destiny out there that I'm naturally aligning to, just because I am I'm staying in the flow and I'm focusing on being happy and staying in alignment with myself and staying in alignment with what I want, what I truly want and letting go of control over how the universe delivers that to me. It could come from someone or some place that in the past I was like a very hard no, hard pass, never want to see you again, want nothing to do with you ever again. And yet, and yet, maybe, maybe what I wanted all along is aligning with this one person or one cert whatever that I've had a I've been in a hard pass energy with. I hope that's helping make sense here. I mean, at this point, I'm really just like, whatever, whatever happens, happens. If it comes from that place, then it comes from there. If it doesn't, it comes from somewhere else. That's fine, too. I, I really, I don't mind. I don't mind, right? That's a hard place to get to, Aries, especially if you've been burned in the past. Don't get me wrong. I know exactly where you're coming from here. Woo. All right. <laughs> here we go, Aries. Let's see what we've got for you for your month of November 2019. Hold on. Before I do that, what I want to do is I want to light some sage for you. For you guys specifically, I don't have, where's my matches? I want to light some sage to maybe try and clear some of the negativity here so that we can really look at this for what it truly is and just be open just be open all right my intention with setting this sage here is to help open you uh, open up a little bit so that we can at least perceive the messages that spirit wants to bring forward for us for aries right now okay let's let's help this my intention with this sage is to clear away some of the resistance just so that we can be able to accept and integrate these messages that are coming through in your own time, no one is asking you to do this at any time that you're not a, not willing to do so or not ready to do so, but in your own time, yes? Okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of November 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got for you, yeah? One. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. Two. A three. <laughs> for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Four. And five for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. All right. Here we go. Boop. All right, Aries. Overall energy. The Wheel of Fortune, Aries. Destiny. Again, please don't shoot the messenger. But whatever you're facing right now, it is in fact an element, a part of your destiny. Okay? Underneath that, you have the Ace of Cups. Oh yes! That Ace of Cups. Underneath that, the Five of Pentacles. Okay? And underneath that, the High Priestess. All right. So, Okay, what I'm getting here for you, Aries, um, is there is definitely an energy of 
pulling yourself out from being in the cold. Um, and what I feel like you're experiencing right now is a, circ is a situation in which you're very aware of what the universe is asking you to do, or you kind of have a very, very strong idea of what the universe is leading you towards. And because you may have come into this energy of loving yourself completely, fully, and unconditionally, you're kind of like, why the hell should I allow myself to face something or someone that only left me feeling less than before? I, I, I'm, 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 regardless of how specifically this is, is, is uh, lining up for you, Aries, I'm feeling an opposition uh, or, or an energy of you having this sense of self-love and not wanting to accept anything that would make you feel anything less than that with the Five of Pentacles. However, there are some secrets behind, there are some secrets here, Aries, that you are not aware of, that the universe is not fully disclosing for you yet. And that is specifically in terms of why this has happened or why you're being asked to, 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 to move, shift in this certain direction. There are some larger picture elements here that are at, that are at work that you are not consciously aware of, nor do you need to be, to be quite honest. And I know that's very hard for us as Aryans to accept. I do have some very strong Aries energy within my chart, whether it's just in my Venus, which is in the Western chart, or as, as my sun sign, which is the Eastern chart. I totally understand your energy right now, Aries, but there are absolutely some hidden elements to the circumstances here that you're having to come to terms with. Now, no one is asking you to allow energies into your life that help you feel lack or less than, yes? Um, but it's it's... If you're feeling some very strong opposition to whatever it is you are being asked to move towards, it's coming from a place of you having risen above this lack mentality energy, this, this um, feeling left out in the cold energy, having moved past that. And now whatever it is it's, you're, you're perceiving to call you in this certain direction is bringing up these memories again. But this is a good thing. But you see, no one is asking you to allow that back into your life. But what you may not be aware of, Aries, is that whatever you're being called towards is probably not going to put you in that energy again. Or if it does try to put you in that energy, then maybe this is a test for you to see if you really let this go. If you really let these circumstances go that have left you out in the cold in the past. You know what I mean? Either way, you're being called in this direction for a reason. And you kind of just have to go with the flow here. All right. Let's get into the rest of your energies here, Aries. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here. You've got... Oh, God. The Five of Swords. All right. Um, I'm not going to lie, Aries. While this does feel like the energy from the past that you have removed yourself from, it also kind of feels like current energies. But I feel like this is energy that you are putting forward, Aries. This is a self-sabotaging energy. Your ego is getting far too wrapped up in this. And, and again, please, please understand that I do understand where you're coming from here, okay? I totally get it. But to be quite honest, the opposition that is being put forth towards what the universe is trying to help you align with is in fact self-sabotage in some way, okay? Five of Swords is coupled with the Page of Cups. Reconciliation is necessary here. Someone just wants to reconnect. Someone wants to apologize even is what I'm feeling and hearing. But I heard you're stabbing him in the back. You're also stabbing yourself in the back in some way. If someone wishes to apologize, if someone wishes to come forward and reconcile, they it means that they've, for the most part, they have changed. And I hesitated in saying that because there can be some narcissistic energies out there that are just trying to manipulate you. But if they are trying to manipulate you, you would be especially, you would be consciously aware of it, especially at this point in your development, right? But that's not what I'm getting here. I'm getting that this 
whomever this is, whatever this is, there has been some serious change. They recognize this energy, especially since this Five of Swords energy does feel like it's something from the past. They recognize this and they want to make amends for it. All right. But again, like, don't, like, don't get me wrong. Actions speak louder than words. So if you if this person comes forward and you accept them back in and they you accept their apology, but then they just start fucking around again, then obviously, by all means, cut them out. But I really don't think that's really what's going to be happening here. Take it as resonates, though. This is a general reading, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the first half of your reading is the Six of Cups. Aw. Soulmates, reminiscent of the past. And <sighs> graciousness, generosity. This really could be a counterpart situation in which the masculine is coming forward and extending an offer of love, caring, compassion, and reconciliation to the feminine and the feminine may be really be in a very strong may have every right to be just as angry as she is right now but i feel like this is a genuine offer six of cups is coupled with the chariot this is in alignment with you this is also but this is i'm getting this very strongly this is in alignment with them Whomever is wanting to come forward here, they're very sure about this. They've, they're very clear on what it is that they want. They're moving forward with passion and confidence. They're moving forward from a place of balance. So if someone is trying to reconcile with you and you're rejecting them, you're giving them the hard pass, the hard no, this is, in fact, a form of sabotage, self-sabotage here. <clears throat> Because I feel like this person is in greater alignment with themselves and now can speak from a genuine place of, from the heart, from compassion, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Aries, you have the two of wands. Deciding what to do, deciding which way to go. Um, coming to terms with the decision you've made already, but all, but also what I'm getting with that is the decision that you've made already in terms of your life plan before you incarnated here. This is very much an energy of you chose this. At least you chose this path. You chose this journey. Mm. So the Two of Wands is coupled with Judgment. You chose this. We all did. I'm not saying, I'm really not saying that to like rub salt in a wound or anything like that, but. I don't remember if judgment came out in the pre shuffle, but this was the, this is the energy that I've been talking about this whole time with judgment. This is the calling. Yeah, actually, it did come out in the pre shuffle. I mean, I really kind of want to move forward because I feel like you guys are, are kind of understanding what I'm saying here, but <clears throat> I also want to describe this more, but I'm not getting the words Spirit's telling me because I've already described it adequately. So, okay. All right. Moving forward. Closing message or potential outcome here, Aries, in the first half of your reading. Yes, the Three of Swords. Yes, we know. Yes, we know. This has been challenging. This has been painful. This has been heartbreaking. You have every right to feel what you are feeling. No one is trying to take your feel, to devalue your feelings, to invalidate your feelings. Absolutely not. But what I just heard is, please try to see this from the masculine's point of view. Again, we're not trying to devalue you here. And deval it's, I'm, obviously I'm talking to a feminine, but also, the masculine is asking for a chance to be seen and to be heard. Even though, even though he put up a pretty strong fight, didn't he? Or she. This is not, we're not talking about gender here. We're talking about energy. And obviously we're talking about some sort of counterpart situation, okay? But, but they're, they're, they're looking to reconcile. Because I really do genuinely feel like they recognize this destructive energy that's been flowing between the two, all right? 
three of swords in your closing message or potential outcome is coupled with the hermit. See, Aries, here's the thing. You found yourself through this pain and this heartbreak. But honestly, so have they. And if you could have done it, why couldn't they do it, right? It's very interesting because this feels kind of cryptic in the sense that I'm really not saying, or at least I feel like I'm not saying all that much. Maybe this is just my ego getting in, in play because I feel like I need to be saying more, but I don't. Because I because what I'm being told is that I'm I'm getting the point across. Like you guys are understanding what I'm saying. I just feel like I need to be explaining this more, but I don't. You guys understand this. Okay. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Aries, first set of surrounding energies for you. You have, oh yes, the Ten of Swords. The worst is behind you. The best is yet to come. But you have to be willing to release this. You have to be willing to, I just heard, stop hurting over it, start harping on the pain and the challenge and the struggle that you've experienced. You gotta stop harping on that. Because even if, Aries, even if this is not someone that is from the past, although you do have the Six of Cups here, so it could be someone from the past, but even if it's not someone from the past, even if someone new is trying to come into your life, the more that you hold on to this, the more that you harp on, on this, the more that you're going to push whatever new away. The more you're going to be pushing whatever new is trying to come into your life away from you. I keep hearing it very clearly, Aries. You have got to stop harping on the challenges, the pain, and the heartbreak from the past. Ultimately, they served a purpose. And at this point, it feels like you understand the purpose that they served, and yet you're still not allowing yourself to let go of the pain. Maybe it's because you feel like if you let go of that, then you'll forget, and you'll have to experience this all over again. But that's not necessarily the case. Come on, Aries. Do you really think you will ever forget what happened here? Do you really think in this process of ascension that you've been th going through that you'll ever let some sort of narcissistic energy take advantage of you like that ever again? And if you're afraid of that, then maybe you haven't quite integrated the lessons of this circumstance yet. Something to think about, I guess. Ten of Swords is coupled with yeah, look, the Five of Cups. <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and say it, Aries. At this point, this is definitely crying over spilled milk. Please do not shoot the messenger. But at some point, you're going to have to let this go and focus on the two cups that still stand behind you. All is not lost, Aries. I just heard it again. The best is yet to come. But in order for you to have, to experience the best that is still yet to come, the best that is still on the horizon, you have got to stop focusing on the three cups that have spilled and turn around and accept the two cups that are still standing behind you. Yes? Second set of surrounding energies, Aries, in the second half of your reading here, you have. Oh, look at that, the sun. Oh, come on now. The sun is the most optimistic card in the deck, Aries. Again, the best is yet to come. And especially with the, the, the sun representing illumination, you have the wherewithal and the knowledge and even the experience under your belt to not allow narcissistic energies to take advantage of you again. You have the illumination, the awareness that is necessary. The sun is coupled with, I told you, the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is a lesson learned. 
Yes, it also represents career, finances, wealth, riches, uh, 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 longevity, uh, 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 legacy, family, physical possessions. Yeah, of course it represents all of that. But also as a reader, in my opinion, it represents a lesson learned and being able to graduate from one school of one school to the next, right? You have the awareness that you need, Aries. You don't have to be afraid of this any longer, especially if it's the same person that's tr literally trying to come back into your life. You have the awareness that you need. So you will know when this person or if this person, if, not when, but if this person is trying to take advantage of you, which I highly doubt they will. Because look, Aries, they're not stupid either. All right. So they know just exactly where you stand. They know that they can't mess, they can't fuck with you. <laughs> Can I tell you something really funny? Because I've lost my train of thought now because someone just drove down this block blasting music and it was, bitch better have my money. Bitch better have my money. They know you're not playing. They know you're not playing, Aries. They know they can't pull one over on you again. So if they're coming back to you, they know they've got to come correct. But you're resisting. And again, I want to reiterate that given the past, his and, and past history, you have every right to be so guarded. But now it's time to drop those guards. And again, I will say this, even if it's not the same person that's coming back to you, even if this is a brand new person that's trying to enter your life, you're in alignment with it. And the more you harp on the past, the more you block this new energy from coming in. Okay? So let's look at it this way. Let's look at it this way. Instead of the same person, looking at it as it's the same, if this, if this applies to you, instead of looking at it as it's the same person that's coming back to you, look at it as a brand new energy that's coming back to you. Sure, it may be embodied in the same meat suit, but it's a, <laughs> but it's a brand new energy, regardless of the circumstances. Okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Aries, being the unconditionally loving empress that you are. Unconditionally loving, nurturing, compassionate, abundant. Here's the thing about the empress. She can be really quite enabling because she's just so loving and so caring and so giving. She just wants her children or her subjects because she is the master of her own domain. She just wants everyone to be happy. So she's going to do whatever she can to make sure that they're happy. She's going to give chance after chance after chance. It's okay, my dear, we can try again. That's difficult here, isn't it, Aries? Yes, it is difficult. Why? Because you have been burned pretty fucking hard too, haven't you? Again, no one is trying to devalue that. No one is trying to take that away from you. It is a badge that you will wear and you may not necessarily want to wear it so proudly, but you're going to have to wear it regardless, right? Well, I just heard, so are they. This person that may be trying to come back into your life or this new energy that may be coming back and in, coming into your life, they, they've got a badge to wear too, okay? The Empress is coupled with the world. Your challenge here is to allow this cycle <clears throat> or allow whatever past energies that are still hurting you to close out. Be the unconditionally loving Empress that you are. I am, for the most part, speaking to the feminine here. Now, you might be a man and be embodying the feminine energy. Take it as it resonates. It doesn't matter. We're talking about energy, not gender. Be the unconditionally loving empress that you are and allow the past to close out so that you can get started on the new. Yes? 
closing message or potential outcome areas in the second half of your reading. You've got the seven of wands. These are those, the, this is the guardedness and the defenses I was talking about. But it's also indicative of boundaries. Again, we're not saying that you need to allow some sort of narcissistic energy to come back in and, and take advantage of you. No. Please, keep your boundaries, but keep your healthy boundaries. Seven of Wands is coupled with the Three of Wands. So, <clears throat> This is part of the element that the high priestess is representing here. But this is in fact something that you can figure out on your own or that you can be aware of. The three of wands with the seven of wands is saying that whatever you ex you've experienced on your path so far, three of wands, has been in service of you having greater boundaries for yourself. Seven of Wands, i.e., or in other, in other words, what we're saying here is whatever you experienced was necessary. It was part of the process. It was a part of your journey. And you've come out of that better off than you were before, stronger, more empowered, more powerful, wiser, healthier, greater boundaries. Right? That's just to name a few. And I believe, I bet you, I bet you, if you were to really sit down and look back on the pain that you've experienced and the circumstances surrounding those, that experience and how you've grown from that, you would really, really start to understand. Right? But from that point of view, holding a grudge, holding on to resentment, yeah, that doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. That's an element or an aspect of boundaries or blockages that are not serving you. Okay. Okay. Let's get your oracle guidance now, Aries, for your month of November 2019. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. Oracle guidance, please, Spirit. Oracle guidance for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. There it is. There she blows. Where is it? Uh oh, oh, oh goodness. Okay, card number 44. Other world. Keywords here are veil, illness, and transition. Okay, okay. Don't panic. <laughs> Don't panic. If this feels pretty dark, but also I feel like this is going to be a good a good thing but let's 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 just see here hold on other world this is a time when you are passing through a veil that separates the worlds when once all was clear and life felt stable and grounded for now there is a shaking of the firmament and a shift in your reality that makes you feel at times as though you are living in a waking dream what once seemed solid is no longer to be relied upon, and throughout this time you may be suffering ailments of the physical self. This is a time when the thin boundaries between the worlds have dissolved for you, and there is a raw and unfamiliar energy in, to your world. When this takes place, we can sometimes fall ill, suffer from a great loss of vital energy, and we begin to feel we lose a connection within our minds that is strong. We can suffer, and in that suffering, we can begin to forget who we once were, and that, in some ways, is the purpose of this time. 
You are now a walker between the worlds, and this time of being apart from the reality others seem to dwell within is going to bring you to greater wisdom, knowledge, compassion, and insights. This time will serve its purpose and, it's, and is the breakthrough that your soul requires for the next stage of their journey. But for your humanity, this is challenging indeed. Ask yourself, how can this create meaning and depth within my life when I return to my own reality? And how can this experience be used to serve others, the planet, and the magical world? That will give you great strength, even while you experience the shadow lands of the worlds between worlds. I really do feel like what this is speaking to already has past is the things that you experienced in the past, right? And you've come to certain conclusions about it, but now you're asked to look at it differently, to see it differently, to see the value that it holds in it and how you can help and heal and grow and then thus help others heal from it too. This is a very challenging aspect, don't get me wrong, but you're absolutely capable of it. All right, Aries? So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of December. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.